Hello everyone, wishing you all a very happy Mathematics Day. As we all know that this day is celebrated as the birth anniversary of Srinivasa Ramanujan, a great mathematician. So today I would like to discuss some of the important events from the life history of Srinivasa Ramanujan. Ramanujan was born on 22nd December 1887 in Erod, India, a small village in the southern part of the country. In 1892, he started his primary school education and in 1898, he got his high school education. In 1904, he performed the calculation of Euler constant digit up to 12 digits. In 1909, he got married. In 1911, he published the first article in IMS General. In 1913, he wrote the first letter to Professor Hardy and Professor Hardy recognized him as a mathematician of a higher level. In 1914, he joined the Cambridge University and in 1918, he was the first Indian who was elected as the Fellow of Royal Society. In 1919, he returned to India, but with an ill health. The great mathematician died on 26th April 1920. In 1962, a postal stamp was released on his 75th birthday. And on 1987, his birthday was celebrated by the whole world. And in 2012, it was decided to celebrate his birthday as National Mathematics Day. Thank you. Can you practice any sport without using numbers to learn whether you are a winner or loser? Can you do your work without using the numbers? If you are a teacher, can you collect your students' marks without using numbers? If you are a doctor, can you estimate the amount of medicine required for your patient? Of course not. Mathematics plays a vital role in all aspects of life, whether in everyday matters such as time tracking, driving, cooking or jobs, such as accounting, finance, banking. Heartiest congratulations to everyone on the occasion of National Mathematics Day. Mathematics is a study of measurements, numbers and space, which is one of the first sciences that human work to develop because of its great importance and benefit. Maths is one of the most crucial subjects for students. Almost every student studies maths during their academic life, but most of them ask about its importance. It is almost everywhere, such as engineering, science and technology. Scientists and engineers can't do anything without the use of mathematics. They use it for analyzing data, pattern recognition, and evidence seeking. It offers a way that is quite helpful for students to understand complex information. National Mathematics Day is celebrated to mark the birth anniversary of well-known mathematician. He was also known as the man who knew infinity. Can you guess the name? Yes, it is the famous Srinivas Ramanujan. He was a magnificent gem in the mathematical world. He made numerous contributions in several areas of mathematics, especially number theory in an infinite series. But no doubt the seeds from Ramanujan's garden have been blowing on the wind. Today, I am going to tell you about some of the properties of Ramanujan number that is 1729 or 1729 number first property is 1729 is the smallest number which can be expressed as the sum of two cubes in two ways let's see what it's mean that is 12 to the power 3 plus 1 to the power 3 and 10 to the power 3 plus 9 to the power 3 is 1729 so number second property is that in 1729 there are six prime numbers that is 17, 19, 29, 71, 79 and 97. Number third is 
that the factors of 1729 are 1 into 7 into 13 into 19 are in arithmetic series having common difference 6 which is a perfect number. Number 4 is that the sum of the digits in 1729 that is 1 plus 7 plus 2 plus 9 is 19 and it is divisible by 19. So it is also called Harshad number. Number 5th is 1729 is 19 into 91 and we all know that 91 is reverse of 19 and vice versa. Number 6th is 1729 is sum of 3 squares and 1 cube. Number 7th is factors of 1729 are 1, 13, 17, 19, 133, 247 and 1729 and the product of all factors is 1729 to the power 4. And lastly is 1729 can be written as difference of 2 square number in 4 ways. Let's look here. 55 to the power 2 minus 36 to the power 2, 73 to the power 2 minus 60 to the power 2, 127 to the power 2 minus 120 to the power 2 and 865 to the power 2 minus 864 to the power 2 is 1729. That's all. Thank you very much. Hello everybody. Myself Bhumi Karana. Today I have been presented with a super fun thing. Since my birthday is around the corner, so I was in dilemma that how to make my birthday more joyous and fun with my family and friends. Then I got this magic square. Don't you all know about the magic square? Come on, I'll tell you. Now this is what we call a magic square. If you can see, I have written my own birth date, that is 24 December 2003. I have made a square with four rows and four columns. Now I have written 24 12 2003 in each box. If you will sum up this line, it will sum into 59. Now we have to arrange these four numbers in such a way that every row and every column should sums to 59 and every diagonal as well. Can you see that 20, 0, 3, 24, 12 sums to 59? Again, 24, 20, 0, 3 and 12 also sums to 59. And with the more interesting thing is that that 0, 3, 24, 12 and 20 also sums to 59 and the mid four boxes that is 20 12 0 3 and 24 all has to sum 59 now i'll tell you that how i have made this let's see that so again i have taken a square with four rows and four columns now though i have partially filled this but again i'll tell you how to make it a perfect magic square so again, I have taken my birth date that is 24 December 2003. Again, as I told, I have filled this boxes with the same numbers. Again, I have filled this diagonal in such a way that it will sum up to 59. Now, again, we have to fill this diagonal also in such a way that it should sum up to 59 with these four numbers only. Let's try it with 12. Let's write 24 over here and 20. So if, if we will cal calculate the sum of this diagonal, it will also sum to 59. Now let's fill up the Another your boxes that is 0, 3 and yes one thing which we all have to remember is that the number should not be repeated in the same row or column and what's the remaining number is it is 20, 
4. Okay, now again, if we will calculate this one, we will sum up to 59. 0, 3, the remaining one is 12. So, have, we have seen that almost the whole um, square has been filled and we have to put the remaining numbers over here. And yes, this is how our magic square has been done. So did you just see that? That how fun and brain boosting at the same time it was. So now you try it with your family and friends and let's see whether they be able to do it or not. Okay, thank you. Thank you.